Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty. Welcome to Interactive Elements December Daily 2020 Hop, sponsored by December Daily Anything Goes Facebook group. We're a group of crafters on Facebook who enjoy sharing ideas, inspiration, and of course our albums all year long. We don't focus exclusively on Allie Edward designs or products, thus anything goes. If you're interested in joining our group, I'll post a link down below. Today I'm going to show you how to make an interactive journaling spot from a Starbucks gift card holder that can be used in a traditional or non-traditional December daily. This little journaling spot has a waterfall of paper on the inside for journaling and is decorated on the outside. It measures two and three-quarter inches wide by four inches tall. While this little journaling spot can be used in a traveler's notebook, junk journal, or mini album, it fits perfectly into a traditional 3 by 4 pocket page of a traditional December daily album. It's great for when you want to have a longer story, you want to hide journaling, or when you want to cut down on bulk and highlight your surrounding photos. To start out, I went ahead and pre-cut some um, paper to put in the interior. I used a steno notebook. Um, I really like this paper because it's just a very nicely light green, um, and I think it goes uh, really nicely with the um, green, uh, with Christmas colors in general. <clears throat> and I just, I love the color. Anyway, but use whatever paper you have. It doesn't have to be, um, a steno notebook that just happened to be what I have. I cut this to be slightly wider than the width of this uh, gift card holder. So these are two, just slightly less than two and three quarters. Uh, I'm gonna start off, I know this is a little over four inches um, long. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this slightly longer than four inches. Get my bone folder. And then let's see. Where is four inches? Four inches is pretty much at that line. And I'm gonna tear off the excess. And that's the base. I kind of like to have this waterfall effect and I like this um, serrated uh, edge. So I'm going to go ahead and um, line them up so it's, it's, they're staggered. And then just fold this over like that. Kind of keep them lined up. And then just do the same thing for the last sheet. And then I'm going to use this line that I had originally made as a guide and go ahead and just trim these out. I need to staple these. Um, you don't have to staple them. You can glue them just at the seam if you'd like. But I have um, a Tim Holtz tiny attacher handy. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, and staple it. I just I like that little bit uh, extra stability. <clears throat> and I'm just going to staple it right at the seam. And I'm doing it uh, with the finished side in the center and the unfinished side at the, at the, um, the outside. And that'll be hidden once we glue this down. Uh, I colored the staples in here with a gold Sharpie. So um, the staple actually looks gold. Then glue the back of the back page, like I'm doing here. And I'm gluing this in the back because it has these words. The gift card holder has these words that I um, just want to cover up. Now 
Let me just burnish that down. And it looks like I made that a little bit too long, so I'm gonna trim that up a slight bit. Of this nice waterfall journaling spot. Close it up. If it needs any trimming along the sides, this one doesn't need much, but if it needs any trimming, you can just trim it along the edges like that. So you can decorate this up any way you'd like. Um, you can keep it super simple and uh, I like to just decorate this this top flap um, right above where it uh, goes into the little um, tab right here. Um, but you can decorate the entire outside if you'd like. Um, but you can add just a little little flower sticker it would look really pretty. It might even look better in red. That would be super cute. Um, you can add just a sweet little bow like that. This is from a Fisker's Punch, bow punch. Um, you can add, you know, round stickers, this North Pole Express, and then just, you know, cut off the excess and then, uh, uh, well actually, if you, as long as you put this little banner right, at, you know, above this um, insertion point, the sticker will go down below that. So that would look really cute on here too. Um, you can put a little candy cane sticker. That would look cute. Or you can layer it up with a um, doily. Like that. Uh, or you can even layer it up with a uh, circle a punched circle. This is from a pastry bag, Starbucks pastry bag. You can just cut a circle out and put that there. Layer up a, uh, a little candy cane on top. Um, add a a little car would be cute. I'll do that doily. Or even a gold doily. Do it on top of the gold doily. That would be cute too. So <clears throat> there's all sorts of different ideas. Um, you can even take one of these. Um, I think they still have these this year at um, Hobby Lobby. A little Santa like that would look cute on the front. Or you can add a stamped image to your journaling spot. In this case, I have a stamped and colored image. Or if you have Ellie Edwards stamps, you can use one of those uh, with a little gem on top would be really cute. Um, but today I am going to use a, um, a piece of, uh, a scalloped circle that I'm going to punch out of this book page. I just gessoed very lightly on top of this um, book page. And I'm just going to cut a scalloped circle, uh, and I'm going to add a um, one of these uh, mermaid stickers um, on top of it. Uh, these are cute. These are um, Christmas uh, mermaids, unicorns, and polar bears. I think I purchased these at uh, Michael's last year at Christmas time. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to take uh, my glue book and I'm going to actually um, outline this circle in gold sharpie. Da 
And then I'm just going to glue the back of this. Again, just using my glue stick mainly because it dries really quickly and it's just really easy to to use and here's where I deliberate endlessly on how I'm going to position this scallop uh, there are some words in there that I don't want showing um, so there is somewhat good reason for it and then I burnish it down and trim off the excess. Get back in frame. There you go. All right. And that's it. And I'm going to make this little scalloped um, circle into a um, looking like a clamshell. Uh, so I'm just going to mark the center and here just basically every eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to go use my uh, just a uh, pencil very lightly to draw some lines. So now I'm drawing lines from the V in each scallop down to the base and uh, as you can see they're not all going to the same point. I'm trying to space them out. Um, they're, uh, you know, so it looks like a clamshell. Uh, I'm not going directly toward the middle, uh, toward the center. I'm uh, spacing it out slightly to the left of that center line on each each time I do that. And then I'm going to go over each pencil line with a gold gel pen. Um, and this is uh, just to give it uh, a little bit of bling. And then I'm going to uh, fine tune each of these lines so that it comes to a pretty sharp point uh, and looks more like a uh, clamshell. I'm just going to refine the edge a bit because the Sharpie is a little bit of a dull instrument and this finer gel pen can really get in there and make some nice sharp points. Uh, it just makes it look a little nicer and it also gives it a little depth with two colors. And then I'm just going to let this dry uh, because if I try to mess with it now, the gel pen will uh, run. Okay, so this should be dry by now. Um, so I'm just gonna add one of these little stickers here. Thank you, Little Mermaid. And then I'm gonna add one of these um, Pearl stars. And I'm just going to use Faber Tac to adhere it. I don't know that this company um, exists anymore, paperseller.com. Um, it uh, I, I purchased these at my scrapbook store when there were scrapbook stores. And I'm just going to put the little star there. It kind of looks like a little starfish. So it's super cute. Okay, so that's the finished cover. And you see on the original one I made, I covered up the words down here with some washi. I'm going to do the same thing, but I noticed that this washi doesn't show up really well except for the, um, the metallic one uh, because it's on a dark background. So I'm going to take my washi and I'm going to put it on a strip of just white paper um, so that it stands out more. And I like this particular one 
because it um, says have a cup of good cheer, which I think is appropriate with a Starbucks card. So I'm just finding where the uh, sentiment uh, fits onto the uh, back of the card, trimming it off, uh, and then I'm trimming off uh, some of the white cardstock on either side of the um, washi, but leaving a little bit of a white border. Uh, and then I'm going to adhere that with glue stick and just put it right over those words. And then trim off the excess. Oh, see, that looks super cute. Um, in the original, I stenciled up here. I'm not going to do that with this one, but um, you know, you can add a stamp or whatever else you want, or you can even add more journaling spot down here or decorate it um, with something really flat, whatever, whatever you want to do with that. Um, but I am on this one going to add a tab to the back. Okay, so I'm just adhering the two sides of the tab together with some glue stick. Then I'm running a line of Fabri-Tac down the bottom of uh, the tab so that I can adhere it to the back of the journaling spot. Um, uh, the tab is made out of glitter cardstock, and that is very difficult to glue to other items. Uh, Fabri-Tac seems to be the only thing that adheres to it. Uh, I have a uh, pet peeve, and I don't like unfinished edges, so I'm going to add some more uh, washi to the back of this journaling spot uh, to cover up the bottom uh, unfinished edge of the tab. Uh, if you know, if if you don't care about that, um, you don't have to do this part. Uh, it's just it's just one of my um, idiosyncrasies. So uh, I'm doing the same thing as I did on the inside, where I put the um, washi on a piece of white cardstock and then uh, trimmed it. Uh, again, uh, glue stick does not stick to the glitter cardstock, which I'm discovering right here. Uh, it's just not sticking, so I'm going back and adding Fabri-Tac uh, because that works. And trimming. Super cute. So there's the back. And there's the front. And the little tab should help it uh, be able to pull in and out of pocket pages uh, easier. Um, and this, you know, I really like this technique with this little journaling spot because, you know, we're all, with all of our December dailies, we're always trying to fight the battle of the bulge, right? Um, they get chunky really, really fast. So it's nice to have a little place where you can put a lot of journaling, um, but it takes up very little real estate in um, your December daily. So um, I put together a few other ideas while I was waiting for that to dry. Um, you know, I, I, I went ahead and adhered uh, just the poinsettia. I used that little uh, uh, sticker and I put the little um, bow on there with some doily so you can kind of see how those might look. Um, this sticker stuck up past the, the back of it, so I backed the top of it with um, cardstock. But you know, lots of different ideas. Use what you have. If you don't have, you know, these, um, these particular stickers, these mermaid stickers, you know, use what you have. There's tons of ways you could decorate these uh, little uh, gift card holders, and they're just super duper cute. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, if you did, uh, please give it a like down there, um, and if you feel so inclined, if you can uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I, 
I haven't done uh, any other um, process videos and uh, if you know I know that people like these I will continue to make them so um, you can tell me that you like them by by uh, clicking the like button and subscribing um, thank you so much uh, I hope you have a wonderful December uh, during this crazy crazy 2020 year um, and that this brought a little bit of joy into your life thanks for watching if you'd like more December daily ideas check out my youtube channel paper crafty if you like Starbucks products Check, check out my video entitled Incorporating Starbucks Products into your December Daily. Craft on.